Guys, I'm really excited to uh, to present to you uh, our new music, a snark. Uh, it's uh, it's a joint effort with uh, with two other guys, with Helger Lipma and Jano Sim uh, from Simula. So um, we uh, in our paper we presented a new ZK snark uh, called Vampire. It's a uh, it's a ZK snark for arithmetization called as R1CS Lite. It's universal and updatable. That means that you can have like one trusted setup for, for every circuit up to a given size. And if you don't trust that the trusted setup was generated uh, correctly or non-maliciously, you can always update the setup uh, by your own. Uh, it, it based on Marlin, uh, another ZK snark, but it's like really highly optimized. I would say it's a Marlin on steroids. Uh, it's, uh, it's so optimized that the proof is only four group elements and two field elements. Like compared to Marlin, which has like seven group elements, or Plonk, which also requires uh, seven, uh, seven group elements. So communication-wise, uh, this ZK snark is really close to Grof 16. So the difference in the proof size is about uh, 500 bytes, uh, but Grof 16 is neither uh, universal nor updatable. Uh, and it uses only two sum checks. And why I want to talk about sum checks is because this optimization was possible thanks to the fact that we, uh, we invented a new sum check, which we dubbed uh, count. It's a univariate sum check. Uh, it, it has great communication efficiency because the proof for the sum check is only one group element. Furthermore, uh, it, the complexity of, of this sum check is really, uh, really good. It's almost linear. What is much better than uh, standard sum check we use in SNARKs called Aurora, which, uh, which requires FFT. Okay, so um, let me tell you how to make uh, SNARKs shorter how it was possible to, um, to, 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 do, to deliver a snark that is only four group elements long. Um, so snarks, uh, like a class of snarks we, we, are, we were investigating, uh, has a number of, of building blocks. So, so first, there's a relation. So we need to, to pick what relation for snark we are proving. And for example, the relation could be R1CS, it could be R1CS Lite in our case. Planck has its own relation. So, arithmetization matters. The arithmetization also uh, tells you, well, uh, the proof size really highly depends on the arithmetization you pick. Then, we have a sum check. So, basically, the question is how many sum checks do you need to show your result? Then we have lin check. So, the question here is, do we even need a lin check? And the last but not least, the famous polynomial commitment scheme, which uh, also like, defines the, the size of the proof. So we need to tell which polynomials are we committing to and what, polynomial, what commitments do we, do we open. Can we batch openings? Can we batch um, commitments? So to compare, um, to compare Mar uh, Marlin with our vampire, so there, there are some several differences. So, first of all, uh, Marlin is for R1CS, while Vampire is for R1CS Lite. And why it matters, I will say uh, in, a bit, in, a few, uh, in a few slides. Then we have a sum check. Uh, both Marlin and Vampire need uh, two sum checks, but, um, but Marlin uses Aurora sum check, and the Vampire uses Count and Aurora. Uh, regarding clean check, Marlin requires it. We don't. Then there's a batching of, uh, of KZG, a cut a polynomial commitment scheme. So in case of Marlin, it is batched, but we, we managed to batch it better. Okay, so uh, let me tell you uh, about the difference between R1CS and R1CS Lite. So we start with arithmetic circuit as usual, and, and we 
We have some left input gates in the circuit, we have some right input gates, we have some output gates, and these gates are encoded into three matrices. So matrix A corresponds to left input gates, uh, B corresponds to, to the right inputs, and C corresponds to outputs. And then we have Z that corresponds to evaluations on these gates. Okay, and that's R1CS light. And the fact that we have three matrices basically means that we need to send three polynomial commitments to each of, uh, of these multiplications here. While in a R1CS slide, the situation is a bit different because we are able to encode the whole circuit into a single matrix. So we have only one matrix that need to be, need to be sent. And we want to show that, that the a vector with evaluations times this matrix gives, gives zero. Okay, so uh, let's let look at this uh, for a moment. So, so um, W times Z equals zero basically means that for all X's, uh, sum over Y of W, X, Y, so the elements of the W matrix times element of a Z vector equals zero. And with some uh, mathematical trickery, we can say, okay, so let's not talk about vectors, let's talk about polynomials, um, and let's uh, talk about sum uh, of some uh, polynomials, sum over some y for some polynomial f. And here comes the sum check. So count is a, is a new sum check. Uh, so, so sum check argument basically states that if you have a polynomial f and you evaluate it at some elements a uh, belonging to a set h and you sum over all these elements, then you get some value v. And compared to Aurora, as I mentioned, uh, Aurora needs two group elements, we need only one group element. So I'm not going into details of, uh, of this sum check, maybe, maybe some other time. So let me only say uh, about batching KZG very quickly. So there are like two, uh, two ways of batching polynomial commitments. First of all, uh, we can batch openings of multiple polynomials evaluated at the same point, and that's what Plonk is doing, that's also what, uh, what was done in Marlin. However, uh, due to some new results, we can also batch openings of multiple polynomials at multiple points. If you want to learn more, please check our paper and, and now I can take some questions. Thank you so much, Michal. A lot of data and formula over there, but if people can talk to you after the talk. Thank you so much.